Look, I don't want to belabor the point, so I will see spiral the essence of that thing that we uncovered today in the heat of this room. We've come to play and smoke us cigarettes. You've heard them all before. The perfect singers. People who do stuff like Three octaves just like that. How do they do that? All right. If you told yourself, if you repeated that lie to yourself growing up, saying that you cannot sing, do this. I did it. It works. Just a suggestion. <clears throat> Go find a place where nobody can hear you. And if they can hear you, they're not close enough to find you. I had to hide in the Hollywood... I got to hide. I had the privilege of hiding in the Hollywood Hills. While I sang my guts out. I believe I was... Uh, 20... 21? Somewhere around there. Took a long time. For me to realize there was no point in being a perfect singer. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, I like the guy from that band, you know. Uh, band Free. Uh, band Company. Rogers. Whatever. I like Roger Waters, too. He's a darn good singer. He sounds like Roger Waters. The other guy sounds like um, whoever he is. <sighs> the singer for Bad Company, okay? Rogers. Something like that. Probably Nile or... Or Percy. <laughs> oh, Percy, yeah. Percy's a damn good singer. Percy, you know him probably as uh, Robert Plant. How does he do that? I don't know. I think he hears it in his head. And always has. And always will. Oh, and it is simply a matter of will, better known as <clears throat> unbending intent. Intense! Intent. Intent. Intent! That's how he does it. It's like a little yappy dog kind of thing. Start off that way. Anyway, oh, yes, yes, sing like the animals. <laughs> I don't know. Um, surely there are insects, crickets, maybe, crows, ah! morning doves, where you live. There are animals that will gladly teach you how to sing. They ask nothing in return. In fact, they enjoy our ridiculous um, efforts at imitating those very animals. They're tickled by it. Some of them are just a bit, there are crows, perhaps, who just go, and they don't like it that much. Some, some of them, of course. All right. Oh, where does that take us? Oh, yeah. 
All you rich kids, you can afford ukuleles. Do something a little different, okay? You can afford an ukulele. They're wonderful. You play guitar, you'll love the ukulele. Do something different, okay? You can afford it. This drum cost me 25 bucks uh, several years ago, about a decade ago. It's from Indonesia, carved from one piece of wood. I like a groove, usually, when I sing, unless I'm doing Japanese style. Not that the Japanese don't have a groove, that taiko stuff is very groovy. So sing any way, whichever way, whatever it takes, under your breath, make some earplugs from moistened napkins and uh, stick them in your ears and you can hear yourself better. And you might have to ask people around you to speak up because you have earplugs or something. Make something up. I have a condition. I have an Eustachian tube condition. An inner ear condition. Anyway, you can hear yourself go. When you do that, just hum to yourself. So, <laughs> they told you you couldn't sing. They lied to you. Oh dear, now what? Whatever it takes. Whatever you got to do. To sing something. And it just doesn't matter what you say. Do we have time for a little bit of guitar? I don't know if it's the right key. We'll see, huh? Super dabba 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 Oh, oh, the strap is crinkled. Okay. Twisted and crinkled. A twisted and crinkled strap. Yeah, it holds the guitar up. And Mia. So, let's go back to where it's clean. To live the life we might have been. Smiles have carried off the road as you said the sun is out reach. Oh, time's up. All right. Namaste. Hmm?